Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Double D's Quickie Reviews. Oops, I should probably take that off before I do that. <laughs> Anyways, as you know, I've been shopping at Ross lately because, you know, I need money. So I can't spend all my spare cash on figures, you know, expensive figures. I have to buy cheap for my habit. And to entertain you, my loyal viewers. Hey to all the voices. Hey, hey. You. Yeah, you. How about hit that like, subscribe button down there. You're not one of the voices. Become one of the voices. Become one of the voices. Anywho. Back to what we're going to do. Uh, today is, of course, boom. This right here. Darth Vader, the Dark Times. From... The Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Let's see at Ross. I got it for $3.99. Vader's one of those things that I'm kind of hooked on. And I like the sort of retro look of them. It's retro, but not retro. I mean, I have the original Vader somewhere. I mean, he's in really bad shape, but, you know. I do like the card art. Now, I've seen these in the stores. Not Ross. And they were not for eleven dollars. They were like sixteen ninety five. That's just too dang expensive for something with no articulation. The back. I wish I'd go back to putting pictures of the other figures and the lines on the backs. That would be cool. But you know, help them open and take a look at the figure itself. Recycle. Yeah. Oh, jeez. This little piece of paper here tells you not to eat the parts. Dang, he's in there good. Of course, again, in the retro vibe, they got the retro style lightsaber. Oh, that's just not going to... There we go. I don't... Yeah. And then we got the figure. Like the, of course, the original. Well, his cape comes all the way down. What's that sound in the back there? My eyes aren't so good. Oh, the camera actually makes it easier to read. Uh -huh. Yeah, still not easy for me to read. Hasbro, Vietnam, some number. No year of make, which, well, I'm assuming it was this year. The cape is sewn on, so you can't like, oh, I... <laughs> Never mind. Now we can see the figure better. Though it is apparently scuffed up right there. And he does suffer from, like the original, a flat face instead of, you know, features. Wow, that, this is like a badass sculpt. I mean, not bad as in good. I mean, bad as in bad. Look at that. The helmet ain't even, even on both sides. Do you, who is in quality control at Hasbro? I mean, that head sculpt. I was willing to forgive the flat face because that's kind of retro, but the the nose, like, I mean, the fact that nothing is symmetrical. That's a little fucked up. Remember, not safe for children. Let's get down to the rest of it, though. We don't want to waste our time on that. The arms, of course, standard old style articulation. Body sculpt. Oh, man, that's not even symmetrical either. Did they, like, freehand sculpt this or something? Arms look okay. And the legs, I like the... Oh, damn, look, it's nasty in there. Okay, that just wipes right out. Don't want to know what that is. Probably glue of some sort. It's a good sculpt, but the, this is a nasty figure, okay? Maybe we should stay away from the Star Wars retro line. I mean, I know you want to make it look like the old Kenner, but even Kenner sculpted symmetric. This is horrible. The cape's good. Boom, I like the cape. Might be using that on something else. And of course, you got the saber. There we go. I mean, if at a distance, it looks fine. Until you get up close and actually start noticing that it's 
really badly made. For the price point you're asking for these? No Hasbro. Bad Hasbro. Bad Hasbro. Don't make me get the spray bottle. That's why I don't buy new figures anymore. I can't afford them in this quality. Damn. I mean, if it was just this, but all symmetrical and maybe not so dirty, straight out of the package, I wouldn't, I'd be happy. Especially for the, you know, the small price I paid for it. But yeah, I mean, if you look straight at that line in the center of the helmet, it looks like his helmet's crooked, the top part. And it's one freaking unit. It's not even like it was two pieces of sculpt. Uh, this is why you lose losing people, man. This is why some people aren't collecting anymore. Anyways, that's pretty much it. This is, after all, a quick review. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, maybe stay away from this line. I mean, if I can save anybody the heartbreak of seeing that in person, mazel tov. And uh, I want y'all to have a nice day. That's an order. Remember to check out my other videos, and uh, check me out on Instagram. I haven't posted any new pictures over there in a freaking long time, but I mean to. I always mean to. With my garage shut down, you know, I can't really get to some. I usually just post masks on there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a nice day. With that, Double D, out.